Look, if you fly into Gatwick, uh, you'll see lots of green spaces. That is certainly true. However, if you have a country in which the population goes up as a direct result of immigration, uh, what you find is not a shortage of green fields, if that's where you wanted to build houses, you find a shortage of primary school places. You find a shortage of GP surgeries. You know, we have fewer GPs per head than any other country in Europe today. You find congestion, whether it's on the roads or the London Underground or wherever you go. And what you find is that actually you're constantly playing catch up and, and really the general quality of life for the mass of population has gone down. So I think those comments today were wholly irresponsible. And what we've seen, I mean, it's quite interesting to think that, you know, in 1990, the population of this country was 55 million. It is now between 62 and 63 million. That is a massive, massive increase. And I think ordinary folk going about their lives are feeling it. And I, and I, I think, you know, pop, you know Im having a proper immigration policy, controlling the numbers, doing what nearly 200 countries in the world do, namely controlling the numbers that come and the type of people that come, is the answer. All right. Russell Brown. I sometimes feel worried about you, Nigel Farage. Uh, but the, the reason I feel worried is because I, I know a lot of people are frightened in our country. I know a lot of people are feeling afraid and frustrated. And there is a sense that there is a corrupt, corrupt group in our country using our resources, taking away our jobs, taking away our housing, not paying taxes, exploiting us. And there is. There is an economic elite that this man's party is funded by, that this man is the back, comes from background working in the city. Let me tell you something. There was an economic crash and a lot of money was lost. His mates in the city farted. Nigel Farage is pointing at immigrants and the disabled and holding his nose. Immigrants are not causing the economic problems and suffering we experience. <laughs> As much as any of us, I enjoy seeing Nigel Farage in a boozer with a pint and a fag laughing off his latest scandals about breastfeeding or whatever. I enjoy it. <laughs> but this man is not a cartoon character. He ain't Del Boy. He ain't Arthur Daly. He is a pound shop Enoch Powell. And we've got to watch him. Well, Russell, that's all, um, that's all well and good, and you've got your point of view. The question was, is Britain overcrowded? And, and, and uh, do you think I'm wrong? I mean, do you, I mean, do you, do yes. you not think? No, I do. Can okay. I not be do more not clear, think? mate? Do I you think you're wrong. Do I you not think? Kind of well, you... This is called question time, this programme, right? And well, what happens, tonight you could have and an hour. And what happens is, <laughs> members of the audience ask questions, and we're expected to answer them. You haven't answered this lady's question. Do you think Britain's overcrowded and there is a strain on public resources and people's quality of life? We need more money for public resources. Well, where's it going to come from? Not overcrowded. It's going to come. Oh, I'm so glad you asked, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Since the financial crash, banker bonuses have exceeded oh. £80 billion. Pounds. George Osborne, <laughs> your Chancellor, campaigned to stop caps being placed on banker bonuses. At the same time, there all, were austerity cuts against the poorest among us, the disabled, people that we need to be looking after. We need to close tax loopholes which are exploited by big corporations. There's money. I've got money now. I've seen rich people. There's plenty of money out there. It's just not being distributed. <laughs> Yes. And I don't like people preaching that uh, I am any part responsible for anything. I've never heard him criticised as disabled. I never have. Okay? Never. No. Okay? And you are a campaigner. Yeah? I'm going to go back to the last question. Please let me finish. Indian, mate. Stand. Stand for Parliament. If you're going to campaign, then stand! Okay? Okay, you have the media profile for it. Uh, Do it! My problem would be, mate, I'd stand for Parliament, but I'd be scared that I'd become one of them. I, I know what's going on. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're full of dick.
addiction. You full addiction and you've beaten it, okay? You, you can't preach that. That is, that is rubbish. Mate, I am... You cannot preach that. I'm not preaching. What well, you are. You've attacked him, okay? Yeah. Okay? And you've attacked I'm him and you've attacked... Everybody that stands for his party, I do. they, I do. they, we're trying. I'm sorry, I'm people they are the... people on the street. Oh, are they? Are they? Are they? Rubbish. Rubbish. I'm sorry, but at the end of the day, it's the general public that are standing for him. Trying to blame immigrants for the cutbacks. Because right. of his rich, right. they well, just you've got some voters here, mate. You ought to stand. I mean, they're, they're, right. these are your voters. They're, I don't they're lovely that. people, I'm aren't they? For you for they're, they're lovely you people. For you. <laughs> I just hear for a voice up here. You saw on the gangway. Behave yourself over yeah. there. The, the point I want to make to Russell is that you, you say you, you claim to sort of stand up for the working classes, but you've got to understand that it's the working classes that have been hit the hardest yeah. by immigration, mass immigration. You know, wage compression, the, ch the, the, the change in communities over, over a short uh, period of time has led to, you know, um, tension within communities. You've got to appreciate that actually, you know, it's all right to say, you know, criticising UKIP and Nigel Farage, but actually it's the people at the bottom of society that have been hit the hardest yeah. by immigration. I'm telling you, mate, honestly, I come from the same communities you come from. I've been very lucky and I've had a few breaks and I've got a few quid now. And I'm telling you that. Immigra immigration has always been happening. What happened in 2008 was very unique. If I thought, the scale. If I, the scale. my friend, I swear to you, if I thought, listen, try this for two years, turn your focus to corruption in the city, turn your focus to apathetic politicians, turn yourself to the corruptions going on there, and if in two years' time your life ain't got better, campaigning against the people that have wealth and power, not those that have very little, if it's still the same, I'll come with you and campaign. But I'm telling you, I know where the power is, I know where the money is, I know what we've got to do. Right. Yeah.